The basin of the Araguaia and Tocantins rivers is on the eastern edge of the Amazon. It's one of the largest river systems in South America. The two mighty rivers are known for their spectacular biodiversity, unique species and for balancing the ecosystem here, a savanna-like environment compared to the rainforest floodplains further north and west. But the construction of dams to generate electricity and the deforestation along the banks are a threat to the environment. This woman, who spent years fishing, says biodiversity has led to degradation. The creation of the hydroelectric dam greatly reduced the number of fish in the river here. They have disappeared in the region. Now Maria Luisa works as a fish farming. It's a rising industry in the region, still in its early stages, but encouraged by the Tocantins state government as a path to economic development. This biology professor is the co-author of a study on threats to the Araguaia Tocantins Basin. The introduction of foreign species used for fish farming is one of the concerns. He says the biggest negative impact comes from deforestation. The basin has been changing brutally and quickly over the past 20 years. There is a lot of deforestation in the area. We estimate that about half the forest cover has already been destroyed. The lone tree teetering on the edge of the Araguaia River bank shows what happens when nearby areas are deforested. In the dry season, the water recedes and the unprotected banks collapse creating these ravines and dropping stilt into the water. Year after year, the river becomes wider and shallower. Juarez Feitosa was born and raised on the banks of the Araguaia River. Things changed a lot here. Before, we knew all the beaches of Araguaira by name. Now they are countless. And every year there's a new beach appearing in a different place. The river is too shallow, too dry, you see? From the way it looks, I think all the water will disappear at some point. Nowadays, Juarez works as a tourist guide, mostly for fishing enthusiasts who come to this river lured by the large variety of fish species that still inhabit its better preserved areas. This river, there is a lot of fish, uh, the most that I, arrive, uh, I already see. So I think that we need to keep like this. This kind of sports, catch and release, is the best way to keep our river crowded. Tourism on the banks and waters of these rivers is a sustainable activity that, done properly, could help preserve the Araguaia and Tocantins Basin while developing the region. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, in the Araguaia-Tocantins Basin, Brazil.